Hey you guys, I wanted to do an update that I had totally forgotten about, but I know in my homeschool organization video, which I will put a link there and there as usual, I had mentioned showing you guys what I put in my son's weekly homeschool folder and I totally forgot. So I thought I would hop on here and show you guys what's in Samuel's folder and I'll also show you what's in Timothy's folder and how we use it. And just for reference, at the time of filming this video, Samuel is six and Timothy is three. And we use these folders at the beginning. We have um, three homeschool slots during the day and we do this as our morning time along with some other really fun activities. Um, but I will show you what we do. All right, so these are our two learning folders. This one's Samuel's and this one is Timothy's. And in Samuel's, let's open it up, we're midweek, so it's a little scrambled in here. Usually I start with everything on this side of the folder. This is all the stuff that is not complete. And then as it gets complete, I put this over here. And this is something that we do every day. It just kind of helps him practice place value, practice writing a little bit. Um, gives us a chance to talk about numbers. Um, sometimes we forget, but in general, every day that we open up this folder, we um, Samuel writes the number, the next number that comes comes in order. So we do that, and then we do phonics each day. And I have a little chart here to kind of tell me what what we do. We usually basically read through this book, and then um, sometimes we do a few activities with flashcards of sight words. And every once in a while, we will play a game. And then after we do those two things, Samuel gets to pick any two things that he wants to do from this side. Now, he's welcome to do more, and that would be fantastic. But he has to do two. And what we have in here is we have his math, which usually the week starts out with his story. And this is always the first thing that he picks. We use math lessons for a living education, and I can put a link to that, um, to a review of that up here and down there. But this um, he usually starts with, so we'll read the story. And then what I have done, and this is an experiment, I, there was so much in the book that I kind of took it and I cut it up and created little lessons um, from pieces of what was in the book. And I took the ideas uh, from activities and I've incorporated more games and made it just a little bit more fun for us to do together. Now Samuel was absolutely devastated when he saw that I cut up his math book and he's still kind of upset at me about that. So we'll see if we keep this format or not, but I like it because it's not much work for him to do out on one day. Like this is kind of a big day here and it's got a place to mark off games and other things that may not be in the book, like make pictures with pattern blocks. This is play tip top tally or another math game. Um, use stickers to make 10. So I have spots here and you can put little stickers on each side and make 10. And this one, um, count, um, count to 45. And there's this, this way of doing it and doing place value. So one day's worth is considered one activity of the two that he picks. So. He has this math, and then we also use um, Evan Moore's daily phonics practice. That has actually been really good. He has struggled with phonics, which is fine. He's young. He might not quite be ready for it. But when I started doing these with them, he started picking it up like you wouldn't believe. And they're really short, and so he seems to like them. We kind of do them together. And so there's a week's worth of these in here, so five days worth in, in here of that. And then we also usually have one or two little handwriting sheets. And normally it's just one letter. This is actually a big handwriting sheet for him. It usually doesn't have this much on it. Um, but he just practiced all of these letters and finished the worksheets for those. So now he's going to do his first name and then we'll move on to his middle name. But that is kind of what is in his folder. And this week we had um, a math game. I have some math game books, which I should, if you're interested in seeing, I will show you. But I just have them, I, I make them through as we go. And so this was a decompose it game, so I slightly modified the direction. So I made this, I printed this out from the book, and then there's a spinner, which you use a pencil and just a paper clip and spin around. And then what you do is you find as many ways as you can to make the number. 
and however many ways, like number four, so every way you can put, you can make four, you move a space for each time, you can make four. And so we just use Duplos, and we have two sets of Duplos, and so he'll put like zero plus four is four, and you move a space, and then one plus three is four. And anyway, go through and move spaces that way. So this makes it a lot more fun than like just staring at a worksheet. And a lot of times these games Timothy will play with us and we will just modify the direction slightly. So with this game with Timothy, we had him spin and recognize what the number was. And then he could just move that many spaces. Um, but we'll, we'll usually, I usually have one or two games in here. I also have some Sonic games that we play. Um, and games are really fun. Both boys love games, and so it's just better than just solid drills. So that is what is in Samuel's folder. And before we move on to Timothy's folder, one thing I forgot to mention about Samuel's folder is that this is, I say it's a week's worth of work, but usually it takes us one or two days more than a week, and that's totally fine. We just do it until we finish what's in this folder. And then once all of this is done, we just, I switch it out and get the next batch that I have pulled. And so that's totally fine. As long as we just do two things a day, that's fine. Like I said, sometimes we do more. Sometimes he's really on a roll and wants to go. Okay, so this is Timothy's folder. Timothy's folder is quite different. I actually did not have plans to make a folder for Timothy, but he wanted one very badly. So normally we have here a sticker book, um, he took his out and I have not put it back in today. But I try and pick sticker activities that go with something that we're studying in history or in science or in geography or in some other area. But sometimes I just put fun stickers like tractors or something that I think he would like. So usually there's a sticker book, sometimes they're big sticker books and he just does a page at a time. A lot of times I'll get those little Dover sticker books and those work really well. And so I put those in there. And then I usually have a couple cutting activities for him because he loves that. And then I have, this is a do a dot. He likes these, so I've been doing do a dot activities in here. And then I just have a couple very age appropriate worksheets that he can do, he doesn't have to do. And none of this is stuff that I ever make him do. And if we have stuff that's been in here for a while and he hasn't seemed interested in it, I just put it in a folder so that I know that he's already looked at it and we'll come back to it again later. But I just move on to my next folder of stuff, just like I have things with Samuel separated out like in my organization system. I do the same with Timothy and I'll just move on to the stuff for the next folder. But this just kind of keeps him busy and occupied. And the other thing that Timothy has that I don't put in the folder because it's too big is he has this mathematical reasoning book. He, I had tried this with Samuel and he did not like it. It did not go over well with him. But Timothy loves it. So I will pull this out when we do our school time and when Timothy's doing his folder and I'll just say, hey, do you want to do your math book? And if he says no, that's fine. If he says yes, we'll just do it until he's ready to be done. And so at this point, we are this far in the book, which is kind of crazy. I don't, I mean, we've only had this for maybe a month. So he's just really kind of going through it quickly and that's totally fine, but we just take it at his pace. And so that is kind of what we do for our folders and that is our daily learning, our morning learning. So during that morning learning block, it's really important that I'm able to be there with Samuel and help him get his folder items done. So while we're doing that, I will give Timothy his folder things. Of course, if we're playing games, he can play along. But the rest of the morning block, I block off an hour of time. We don't always do it. If all we do is Samuel's two pages and that's it, that's totally fine. But I also have planned days for Timothy so that I can kind of round out his learning a little bit as well. So Monday I plan to do games and what that means is I'll say, hey Timothy, do you want to play a game? Do you want to pick a game out of the closet? Usually he says yes and we play whatever game he picks out. On Tuesday we do math day. And so if, if, you know, if we're done, I'll say, hey Timothy, do you want to do um, farmland math or um, car math or I have, I have a list um, a spreadsheet of all kinds of math things and so I'll just kind of see if he wants to do any of them. <laughs> um, on Wednesday is phonics day so I might get out a phonics puzzle and see if he wants to do it with me or we might do our alphabet yoga, um, see if he wants to do that. Um, we might get out the alphabet stamps, we might get out some magnets and just see if he wants to do that with me. Thursday is art or messy play so that's when we'll do like 
play-doh or paints or we might do um, gluing or we might do some little science experiments and then on Friday sometimes we do learning time on Friday sometimes we don't but that's when I try and do imaginative play and really try and be like hey what do you want to play and let him kind of lead out so we might do dress ups we might do rest play restaurant we might do um, build a car or a train with our chairs and usually we're all doing this together but during this time especially because the afternoon time tends to focus a little bit more on Samuel and so I try once we get this main section out of the way I try and focus it a little bit more on Timothy's learning to make sure he's getting that in and I would say about half the time the boys just want to go play and that's totally fine Timothy's three <laughs> like if he's playing with Samuel he's he's learning lots but um that way I can just kind of keep things well-rounded and make sure that I'm getting time with Timothy as well and kind of enhancing his learning opportunities. So those are our folders and I guess I threw in here a bonus of um, our morning homeschool block. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you know this is all a learning process. This works really really well for us right now and I'm thinking it'll probably work for a while and as um, the boys especially Samuel get more independent in their work I can start saying that they have to finish a folder's amount of work in a week and give them a little more independence and let them do that on their own. Right now we just do it together, really laid back, really easy introduction to it, and it works really well for us. So what about you guys? How do you do your um, your your mat reading and writing and arithmetic and get those things in? Do you have a system? Is it laid back? I would love to hear what you guys do. Let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Bye.